Hello, my name's Simone Goward and I work at Greenacres Primary School in Shrewsbury. If you've ever wondered what you would do if there was a monster in your bedroom, this is just the story for you. It's called Grubble Chops and it's been written by Elizabeth Laird and illustrated by Jenny Lysander. Amir didn't want to go to bed. No, he said. No, I won't. Why not, said his dad. Your bed's all cosy and warm and look, Teddy's waiting for you, right there on your pillow. But I'm scared of the dark, said Amir. There might be a, 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 a what, said his dad. A monster, whispered Amir. He might come in the night and he might have huge teeth and growl like a lion. He might try to eat me. Well, said his dad, if he comes, show him your teeth and growl even louder, like a tiger. You can be really scary when you try, Amir. You'll terrify him. But what if he's not scared? What if he doesn't run away? but just stands there and jumps on me and eats me up. If he tries any of that nonsense, said Amir's dad, you'll call for me and I'll come running in with my frying pan and I'll shake it at him. That'll do the trick. But what if my monster's got a dad too, said Amir. And what if he shouts for him and he comes and his frying pan is bigger than yours and he eats you up while the little monster's eating me? In that case, said his dad, we'll call for your mum and she'll come with her big umbrella and she'll flap it in the big monster's face and he'll be so scared he'll go down on his knees and he'll beg for mercy. Suppose the monster's dad isn't scared at all and suppose he fights my mum and tries to eat her while the monster's mum is trying to eat you. Oh, I don't think that would happen, said his dad. Grown-ups, even grown-up monsters, like arguing more than fighting. Fighting's too tiring, especially in the evenings. So while your mum and I are arguing with the grown-ups, you and the little monster can go off and play. Amir thought about this. I don't know how to play with a monster, he said. I don't know the sort of things he likes doing. You know what, said his dad. I think he'd like it if you showed him your toy cars. Poor little monster. I bet he hasn't got any of his own. And, said his dad, when the grown-ups see how nicely you and your little monster are playing, we'll stop arguing and sit down for a cup of coffee and talk things over. Amir picked up his teddy and held him tight as he climbed into bed. I wouldn't let my monster touch teddy, he said bravely. Of course not said his dad, but he won't want to. He'll be too busy having fun with your toy cars. He kissed Amir goodnight and went out of the room, leaving the door open so that a bit of light could come in. Oh, I forgot, he said, putting his head back around the door. Has your monster got a name? Yes, said Amir sleepily. He's called Grubble Chops. And he likes my pickup truck the best. Now you know there's no reason to be scared of monsters because they make the very best of friends. <laughs>